It's time now for our Spotlight segment and today we have actor, singer and lecturer at the University of Lagos, Suji Shotimiri, whose new single Ibosi targets young people and the vices they are susceptible to in the society. Renowned University of Lagos lecturer from the Theatre Arts Department, Tunji Shotimiri, is on the production set of a new television series. This production, however, is not in focus today, but his other creative endeavour in the music space, which he recently released. The track is titled Ibusi, which literally means to raise alarm in the Yoruba language. <laughs> To Babodoro be show more. Magbala Pau, where we are back. Oh, Tio Bati Fair, who are going to go by me fair. Shotimiri explains what he hopes to raise alarm on. Well, the thing is that because I deal with youths a lot, I teach in the university, so I relate with younger people. I cannot specifically say that this is the type of drug that they engage in, but you see them exhibit these tendencies. And beyond that, I want to say that this music is also targeted at the lyrical content of our musical artists. You know, but perhaps they do not think about the negative effect that this sort of lyrics have on younger people because you see music is a very strong weapon with which you can mobilize that you can you know conscientize and inform the society about certain things that some of them are not even aware about they just sing along they dance along they groove along particularly if the music you know is such that is so entertaining all these things are dangerous morally dangerous internet fraud or dangerous atia we are who or dangerous kobuikuni or dangerous very destructive dangerous dangerous the Nigerian mainstream pop sound today is gaining a lot of international traction. This is a thing of pride for Shotimiri, who is however also concerned about the proliferation of profanity, drug glorification and promotion, as well as other delinquent contents in some of these songs. Don't do the codeine, don't do the cocaine. I am not condemning the fact that people should use music, right, to um sort of entertain but then it is also possible that the content and i'm emphasizing that your lyrical content should not derail the people so that's the point i'm making i will say that number one this is a project that i have had to move around in the government circles by that i mean some departments of culture tourism department that did with youth engagement and all of that but i can tell you that the attention that they have given to me is so frustrating and i want to say that this is so disappointing that i have to you know put my little earning the mega salary from my university payment to put this music together with one or two you know assistance from a couple of people so say, look, we support you with this. So when we say government, we need to address issue and, you know, um, and give people independent, you know, bodies such as myself, the Konkere, you know, um, outfit, right? And those of us who are in the academia, it's not just, I, 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 com I combine what you call the town and gown. It's not just lecturing in the university you can't just speak the whole lot of grammar without having relevance to what happens in your society very hairy very hairy and, and sexy <laughs> yes 
He insists that he's not a killjoy, but perhaps a guide trying to help the roaming minds of young acts get appropriate directions. Recently, Grammy winner Burner Boy also criticized some of his colleagues for making music without substance. The statement quickly sends the PhD holder into his academic element as he explains the subjectivity of substance within the creative space. Well, you see, the thing is, one has to be very careful in trying to describe what sort of music has substance or, you know, not. Because, you see, uh, the general belief, right, out there is that this is a subjective kind of art work, you know, that is open to different types of interpretation. So on the basis of that, I'm not going to say this one has substance. It depends on what the individual artist considers a substance. But I am saying that, you know, while you are composing your music, there has to be, you know, a kind of message that people will, you know, hang on to, that you will take home. Why you are not losing that entertainment value? Because it, but when you sing good songs and play good music with, you back it up with, you know, instrumental, uh, you know, uh, uh, rendition that is good enough. People will sit dance to it. Ibusi is available on all streaming platforms. <laughs> I'll be back with you.